Hello Nikolai, how how was your day? How hey, you? well, it was alright I guess, I just woke up. The question that everybody asks, and I'm also wondering, who is the man behind the, the meme? <laughs> what do you mean? Man? I'm just, uh, if you can I'm barely a man. <laughs> I'm yeah. just like doing shitty videos. If you can tell us something about you, who is Nikolai in real life? Well, I guess I'm from Slovakia, so I'm not Russian. I'm not from USA, I'm not Czech, I'm not Polish, I'm not, I don't know, Hungarian. Uh, I'm 22 years old, I'm studying IT, I guess, and I'm doing shitty YouTube videos. Yeah, they are pretty funny, people seem to enjoy them a lot. As you expected, a lot of people asked if you are Russian and where are you from. And uh, in the last video, you had that little thing, I don't even speak Russian. And yeah. maybe some Slava boos were a bit triggered about that. I mean, I know a bit of Russian, but you know, I'm not reading a whole patch notes in Russian. Mainly when the whole game is set in English language and they just like threw Russian at me. Yeah, and as I was wondering, a lot of people do. What made you start making this type of videos for stalker shitposting, let's say? Oh, I was just watching Albino. Albino. Like his early Dark Souls and PUBG videos and I was like you know what stalker need? This. <laughs> but like I was making few league videos before that just like a couple of montages like of kills and stuff it was I don't know I just learned much from that and I, I knew I could uh, do something like Albino well not exactly the same level but something Similar. Okay, okay. To be honest with you, I've never watched uh, Albino. Some people asked uh, what uh, editing software do you use for your videos? Well, it's just, I'm a bit ashamed, but it's Sony Vegas. Everybody hates it. Why? I use it too. I find it pretty easy to, uh, to use. Yeah, it is, but like, it's like a math. It's not hard, but it takes a lot of time and it crashes all the fucking time. And I have to re render like 10 scenes and put them together because I put a ton of effects and stuff and it starts lagging. Yeah, it's uh, relatable. Besides that, how much does it take uh, to make a video? Okay, so... Oh, it depends. The last video took me like two years. Two years? <laughs> I just started like just taking some funny clips like two years ago, but then I stopped playing it and then I started again like a year after. And just like a month ago I was like, I can put this together. I don't know, it's just probably like uh, three weeks for me, two to three weeks. One week to play the game, like non-stop, and then edit it. Because it was said that you play uh, uh, the game for a long period of time, somebody asked that uh, how you are doing it, uh, you just wait for the glitches and bugs. Normal gameplay, I don't know, <laughs> it just happens. X-ray engine at, at its best. Well, the first video I did about Misery, I had to like play it uh, twice to get all the scenes. What but like normally it ju it's just like one playthrough, not even a whole playthrough. But like I play OP 2.1 for a month or two and people are saying that I don't play it enough. Like <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> do you have any hobbies or are you collecting anything related to stock? Well, I have gas masks, patches that I'm gonna burn soon. What gas mask do you have? I collect gas masks as well. It's just, just like a Polish GP5 and some Czechoslovakian one. Okay. But like, I have asbestos filters. Of course, <laughs> Eastern Bloc <laughs> and the spicy dust. A guy on Reddit asked if the zone was real, which place in the game or the real counterparts do you want to visit the most? Hmm. He said that uh, <laughs> the rookie village is his favorite, it's cozy. I know, I, I play a lot of mods and a rookie village is just like, it never gets old, it's True. just a fun place. But if I won't get attacked by anyone, I think like Limansk, Hospital, those are pretty nice places. They are pretty packed with uh, action in my opinion, not very chill. Yeah. What are your uh, favorite stalker mods for Shadow of Chernobyl, Clear Sky, Call of Pripyat? Well, that's a tough question. 
very burned up a ganger for queer sky for sure. There are just a few queer sky mods and this this is just like I don't even know how to describe that mod. It's just like a well, it's a reborn. What do you expect? It's just like shitty mod. It has everything. For Shadow of Chernobyl, I have no idea. I like it vanilla, but how do you call it? O G S E? And for Call of Duty? And well, that has to be like S G M 2.1. There's a lot of versions, but like 2.1 is like for me the best one. 2.2 just adds unnecessary areas that are empty. Do you prefer in general mods that are make stalker more realistic, more close to real life weapons and mechanics and stuff like that? Or do you prefer those type of mods that add a lot of useless and crazy stuff? Everything is fine. But when I started playing Misery, I don't know, I, I really hated that mod because I thought it's too realistic in some places, like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I agree. It has a certain game style and once you play it, you can just never go back. True. It's not the, the same game. To be honest with you, I don't find Misery that realistic as a lot of people say. I just think they try to make it realistic by making it uh, extremely yeah, really hard. hard. Yeah. And I, I think it has a lot of useless items and the uh, inventory is a mess. You know, there's, yeah, there's, for sure. there's a lot of ways to repair your weapon with different uh, items, but uh, I usually just uh, get some money by selling some stuff and just repair it to Cardan or other yeah. technicians. I asked you earlier what are your favorite mods, but what are the mods that you hate the most or you didn't enjoy <laughs> It's gotta all? be Misery. Some uh, mods that are like similar to Misery are fine, but like, that's just too much. Well, that's not all. I hate the Reborn, the normal Reborn, because it doesn't make sense, you don't know how to start, it's just like shit ton of spiders running at you, you don't know what to do, it's just a shitty mod. But Doppelganger is fine. Also, for the expected Stalker 2, a lot of people asked, what would you like to see in Stalker 2? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like things from the original Stalkers, but not using them as, like, how would I say it? Like you have new Star Wars and they are using the old things just to gather money. What is your favorite character from all of the original games? Strelok, Scar or... <laughs> Maybe Nimble. Oh, he okay. just survived too much. Yeah, Nimble is my favorite, but if you'd have to choose between the main protagonist... I guess... <laughs> I guess Strelok. Scar is just like mercenary. I see Scar more as a greedy loner. Yeah. We will do everything for money. Do you play any other games at the moment besides Stalker? Oh yeah, I'm playing World of Warcraft with girlfriend and Fallout 4 with mods. Shit ton of mods. I don't know, and a lot of Stalker mods. And besides Stalker, what is a top 3 of favorite games for you? I think Metro. I really loved Last Light. It's my favorite. Bioshock, for sure. And... Uh, Damn, I don't know. Recent games, but <laughs> that's a tough question. I lost everything in my memory. I don't know why, but for some reason I was expecting Half-Life franchise. Oh yeah, Half-Life is fine. It's just classic. Everybody likes the game. Do, do you play anything like, I don't know... Oh, Dark Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls for sure. Besides all of those games mentioned, do you play anything like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Counter-Strike? There was like a time, like a few years ago, when I had like thousand hours in the Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but oh. I don't really play shooters anymore. Uh, if you didn't make videos about Stoker, then what game would you gone with? The best question would be if I didn't find Albino, because he completely changed my style. But I would just like be doing videos on League, I guess. But it wouldn't be the same shit pose and stuff. The same guy asked, what do you think of your own fan base? <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is a tough one. <laughs> it's the best fan base ever. <laughs> Mostly composed by Russians, but that's okay, I guess. Maybe because of the name Nikolai, a lot of people think that you're Russian. Oh, yeah, it's just from Call of Duty Black of Zombies. Also, he asked, uh, did your uh, status on YouTube ever give you any benefits in real life or were you ever no. recognized? 
No, I, I never use it like that. I know, I, I think like in my country it's not good to brag about it. I don't even know if people understand. I have the silver play button, but I barely like looked at it once and then I threw it to the garbage. <laughs> I, I, I'm just like keeping it for nostalgia for next years. Now talking about vanilla games, so which one is your favorite? Shadow of Chernobyl, Clear Sky or Call of Pripyat? I think Clear Sky. Really? It's because when I was little and I, I didn't have like PC for Stalker, but I watched a lot of videos about Shadow of Chernobyl. But then uh, when uh, Clear Sky was about to come, I was just hyped. So I guess because of that hype, I just have good memories about it. I don't know, I like it. I don't understand why so many people hate Clear Sky. Okay, I get it, it's buggy and stuff, but it still has a very interesting story. And I really like the combat music in it, even though yeah, yeah. there's only three songs. There's also radios, duty radio. Yeah, yeah. Bandian radio, everybody loves that. No queer sky, no bandian radio. And uh, what is your favorite faction? I don't really have a favorite, but if I had to choose, would you say monolith? <laughs> really? Okay, because a lot of people ask here, when are you converting to monolith? <laughs> Every faction is bad. Freedom is okay for their beliefs and stuff, but it's just like uh, composed by bandits and criminals, junkies. Then th there's duty, killing everything and everyone. There's clear sky that's borderline monolith, killing everyone that gets close to the zone. Bandits are bandits, renegades are bandits. There's no good faction. The only normal one is just mercenaries, they just kill for money. What would you choose between Dragunov, SVD or VSS Vintores? I guess VSS. Somebody asked you some pretty weird questions like Will Stalker 2 have mod support? Will it have Stalker and Creature <laughs> A-Life that won't revolve around the pair? <laughs> I mean, the questions for Stalker developers. Yeah. Um, I guess they said that it's gonna have like mod support. Like they are doing it for us because we're talking about Stalker all the time. It just makes sense. Do you think they watch your, mine and other YouTubers content? The developer told me that they're waiting for my new video, so I guess. So this question is the most upvoted one on Reddit. Somebody asked for Mutant Patrol 2.0, when is it coming out? <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what to do about duty, they're just killing mutants. Yeah. What shit post is there? Do you think that Stalker 2 will be released, actually? Yeah, I hope so. If you have the chance to pre-order it or something like that, would you do that? <laughs> yeah. I, I've never pre-ordered any game. I don't know, I, I just didn't. But I think this one will be the only that I'll pre-order ever. Yeah, same. Both Metro Exodus. A few hours before the release, so I don't know if it's a pre-order, but I don't see the what pre-orders are good for. But yeah, Stalker deserves a pre-order for from me. Do you think it would be a great idea for a GSC team to start a Kickstarter or something for founding the Stalker 2 project? Well, if they need it, then I don't see why not. 